green board here in the Mission Director Center. Topping underway. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, main engine start, zero, and liftoff of the Delta rocket with opportunity, a chance to explore and unlock the secrets of our neighboring planet. The transients at liftoff. Engine position looks good. Recovering nicely from the liftoff transients, and the solid rocket motors are increasing their thrust during their 75 second burn. Main engine chamber pressure is holding steady, and the vernier engines are continuing to burn well. And we're now past the Mach 1. The vehicle is now traveling faster than the speed of sound. So we now are entering the max Q portion of our flight where the vehicle encounters the greatest aerodynamic forces. Jupiter Inlet Station now has signal. Main engine continues to burn well. Solids are tapering off their thrust. It's only 20 more seconds left of uh, the burning of the first uh, ground lid solid rocket motors. Engine positions continue to look nominal. The vehicle's tracking right down the center of the range tracking. Here we have burnout of the solid rocket motors on the air, on the ground lit, and we have air starts of all three solid rocket motors and separation of the six ground lit solid rockets. It's the voice of Ted Jones in the telemetry lab. Main engine, main engine continues to burn well. Burnier engines continue to burn. And the three air-lit solids are continuing to burn symmetrically with equal amounts of thrust. T plus 116 seconds. Pass through T plus 130 seconds, altitude is 25 miles, downrange distance 65 miles, and our velocity is 5,200 miles per hour. Two minutes, 10 seconds into the mission. We have the LOX tank press event, and we do see a slow rise in the liquid oxygen tank pressure, as expected. Light controls are really smooth now as we move in the upper atmosphere. The engine continues to burn smoothly, constant chamber pressure. The airlit solids have uh, burned out and separated. We have separation of the airlit solids. 